What is up, Coaster fans? Today I will be reviewing the Loch Ness Monster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. This is an iconic Aero Custom Looper opened in 1978 at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Now, at first I will be um, so I will be reviewing this coaster. So let's get started. First, before we move on to like pros and cons of the ride, let's start with the stats. This coaster sits at a height of 130 feet. When this coaster opened, it was the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster. It also reaches a max speed of 60 miles per hour, which definitely slows down during the ride. It doesn't keep that speed up throughout the ride at all. It features two inversions, which is icon which this is an iconic in element. It is interlocking loop has interlocking loops, and it is the only coaster in the world to feature interlocking loops. So it's very iconic. Plus, walking by, it looks beautiful. You think there's so many picturesque settings with Linus Monster. Now getting to the ride, this coaster surprised me. I'm going to say this. So let's start the pros. This coaster is underrated. It This ride surprised me when I rode it. I mean, I was first expecting it to be painful because it's an arrow. You know arrows. But that was not painful at all. It blew my mind. Holy crap. This was such a good coaster. I mean, it's not, not the most intense coaster ever. It was not really intense at all. It's only like the loops get intense, but like other than that, it's not very intense at all. But but that, it was super smooth. Like, what the heck? The smoothness blew my mind. I didn't get any headbanging at all. Not even one headbanging. I rode this twice that day, and I did not get any headbanging at all on both rides. It was incredible. I love this coaster. There's also, there also um. That tunnel is very sweet. It's a it's a sweet tunnel. You gotta love that. I, I mean, I wish it was like before where it had the Loch Ness Monster actually inside it, but it's not bad. Also, it features two lift hills, so it is a long ride. It's a very long ride. Plus, the lift hills are slow as heck. Let's talk about that. The lift hills, it takes forever to get up to the top pretty much. It's, it's uh, probably make you fall asleep. <laughs> it's just, they're slow. But this ride is just fun. Also, the drop. It's surprisingly steep. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was surprisingly a steep drop. But the smoothness. Wow. I don't know what it was. It was such a smooth coaster. Like, that was super smooth. And it's almost 40 years old, for frick's sake. Just, my goodness. It is so smooth. It is incredibly smooth. I, 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 I just... It's, I mean, it's not the smoothest ride, it's nearly glossy smooth though, which blows my mind. Because it's an old ride, and old rides tend to get rough, but this is not rough at all. It is not even close to being rough. It is very smooth. Now, cons, I don't really have any cons to say about this coaster, actually. I mean, the only con I probably gotta say is the trims. There's a trim before the interlocking loop. And plus, the, the two trains can't um, interlock together, like, they can't go both, two trains can't go through the loops together. Which, that sucks. I, I've seen pictures of it. It looks cool, but you know, it doesn't do that anymore. So let's get to the ride. Video credits go to Coaster Force. So first... One second, let me turn down the volume first before continuing. Okay, so I can talk about it. So anyways, first, you exit the station. Go down a mini drop. You make a left turn into a straight section. And then through, like, I think like a 270 degree, um, like like a little turn into your first lift hill. This lift hill is so slow. Like, oh my goodness. I It probably took about like two minutes to get up here. I don't think it was two minutes, but it was a super slow lift hill. So once you get out of the lift hill, you go, you get out of the lift hill, exit out, go through a mini drop. You go through a left, sorry, right turn. I need Correct. Anyways, so after the right turn, you go down a major drop. It, it, it's a pretty steep drop. It's pretty big too. You go through the Rhine River too, which is amazing. You make a left turn and, it, and you know, a little bank into a left turn, and then all of a sudden you hit the trim brakes and you enter the first interlocking loop. This it's it's kind of intense. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually kind of intense. So then afterwards you make a little time hill, which you actually kind of get some air time. You make a right turn and then a little airtime hill. And you hit the brakes and then you enter the tunnel. Now this tunnel, it, it's near pitch black. It's awesome. I love Lagos Monsters Tunnel. It's a very nice tunnel. 
I think it's really like good. It, I wish, yeah, we're like back in the day with the Loch Ness Monster actually in it. But it's just such a fun tunnel. So then you um, go back and make a little airtime hill. And then hit the second lift hill, which doesn't take long at all. So I'm not going to skip through. So yeah, you're out in the woods. So it's nice. It's kind of secluded. Not too secluded, but it's a little secluded. So then you end, exit out the second lift hill. And you make a right turn. Which is kind of slow, and then all of a sudden you hit a second drop, which is not trimmed, into another interlocking loop. And you actually kind of get some hang time on this loop if you're like in the middle or back. So that happens, you make a little right, right upturn, and then you enter the brake run, and you get into the station. So overall, this is a great roller coaster. This is a coaster that blew me away. This is one of those coasters. I think this is an underrated coaster. If I if you go to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, I highly recommend it. I mean, some people say it's rough, but I don't think it's rough. It's very smooth. So for what Loch Ness Monster's found score, what have I giving it? An 8 out of 10. This is a great coaster. I love me some Loch Ness Monster. If I go back to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, I'd absolutely ride it again. This coaster blew me away. That is it for this count. I mean, review. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.